Employment discrimination is one of the biggest impediments to the trans community's evolution. Um, I think we've had a really hard time gaining visibility in the real world because we're not often hired in customer service positions. We're not in everyday life. My name is Zachary Drucker and I'm a co-producer on Transparent. I'm Reese Cerns, I'm a co-producer on Transparent. Trans people have never really been a part of any kind of industry really to speak of, but particularly in Hollywood. Yet there's been, you know, over the years a number of productions that have dealt with these kinds of stories, but never including trans people in front of or behind the camera really. So um, one of the things we're really excited about this season is we have even more trans people that we've been able to bring into the production chain. There's a lot of transformative hires in the room. We're working hard to create even more trans inclusivity on set, and that brings us to our info packets and primers we have here. One thing that I that really stood out was how when I spoke, people listened and my ideas went on the board, and um, a lot of uh, the trans narratives that are happening in season two uh, did come from my own life and um, it affected the show. So that was really exciting and it, it made me realize that Jill and the team are really interested in what the community has to say. I feel like I'm using my experience to help other people's lives and that's the greatest gift I've ever had. At the very beginning, Jill Soloway said, let's make this as trans inclusive as possible and create a model that other productions can actually look at. And I think it's not just limited to trans people, it's just about bringing people in general who haven't had a place at the table into this industry. We're trying to change, change the game as much as we can behind the camera too. We really wanted to respond to the trans community and let them know like, hey, we've got your back, we're here, we're listening, uh, we want to be educated and we also want to give back. And so we created something that we call the Transformative Action Program, where we tried to make sure we had at least one trans person in every department. There is so little trans representation because there are like no trans writers, there's no trans directors. There are so few people in the TV business who are trans. And so we just really wanted to open the gates and, and help people get in. I mean, this is the beginning of a cultural movement. We've always existed, we've always been here. We've just sort of been assimilating into culture or hiding. And now we're coming out of the woodworks. And this is the first job where I'm actually like living out and loud and proud. And so there's still a little bit of like getting used to it. So it's kind of, it's kind of nice that we're doing this. Everything about the show, about what we're making and how we're making it and the way the production runs, it's so fluid. It, it feels absolutely organic. There's, there's, there's not even a moment that you stop and think, oh, I'm entering a gender neutral bathroom. I can't explain it. It's like Jill's created a world that is so logical and so um, from the heart. As far as we know, this is definitely the most trans-inclusive production in Hollywood history. I think there are other productions that are starting to think about these ideas and actually actively seek trans people in different departments, particularly if they're dealing with that kind of content. I hope this, this can be something that is modeled by just productions in general and actually by industries in general, not just, you know, in Hollywood. We are situated in a really unique place right now in 2015 when there is so much happening and at any other time and we'd be focused on one thing. But trans people, I think, right now at this particular moment in history are tasked with filling multiple roles and being sort of um, everything at once. It's a lot of pressure. We take it very seriously. We consider ourselves ambassadors to the trans community. And, you know, we do it because we care about the trans community, because we are interested in making it a safer place for future generations of trans people. The Emmy goes to, well, let's say, let's say Jeffrey Tambor. Yeah.